How's everybody doing out there today? It's 10.45 a.m. The day after the live stream of YouTube of the Safe Moon Sunday. And a lot was packed into it, no doubt. One piece I want to show you uh, will clarify the exchange situation, okay, for the Safe Moon Exchange, which was pretty much, uh, how can I put it, lost in the shuffle because <laughs> so much was discussed, okay? But you'd heard about the turbine and maybe having an NFT tied to it, and you have uh, basically a look at the office, along with Ryan being a huge uh, Hulk. <laughs> anyway, landlords are going to sell their real-world properties and MS to buy those NFT plots of land in the metaverse. People are buying plots of land in the metaverse already, as I discussed. They will figure, since unlike their IRL properties, there will be next to no OFG cost on those NFT that crank out income for them. Safemoon is going to reach $1 fast. Joel had a very positive way to talk about that one. Connect is essentially a portal which we can tie only not only in the holies, but we can also tie our e-commerce providers. It's going to be a great connector for businesses anywhere from somebody selling merch online to even buying vehicles. Also, on a scale of 1 to 10, how optimistic are you on Safe Moon's future? To Brandon Fugel, okay, for the Skinwalker Ranch. I am very proud, or I am proud, Safe Moon. Oh, I am a proud Safe Moon hodler and excited for the future with the visionary leadership of my friend at Captain Hoddle. Good stuff there. And good stuff for the crew at Times Square. Checking out those ads and making sure everybody around knew Safe Moon is Safe Moon. So good stuff there. The market, the more Safe Moon in just one second. You got uh, basically Bitcoin at um, 40,967, Ethereum at 3022. And go down that list as you can see where everybody else is. A little bit of an uptick in the last hour, all right, but it seems like it's settling out. That is the best way to put it. Uh, yesterday's uptick and then a little bit of a settling out period. So it should turn around and crank out. Speaking of cranking out, the Knox World Wire for Apollo FinTech with the bank announcements coming and the industrial announcements coming for the wire setup on the Knox World Wire. Okay, and then you also have two for the Knox pay, and that's a great situation with more coins added. So all this is gonna be cooking in the next few days, I would say five days, and we'll see how that goes. Now, here, let me try this for a second. I'm gonna stop her for a minute. And this is John. Now listen to what he says about the NFT here, but then listen about the e-money and the exchange receive crypto based off of the performance of the real world counterpart so meaning if the turbine is set up and there's a lot of wind going into it the holder of the nft or the holders of this nft will be able to receive safe moon as well so burn and receive safe moon but we'll be talking about those in the near future um, in yeah. its own special moment Okay, now here comes the part about the e-money license and talking about the exchange. That's going to be a big one. It's exciting. Yeah. Uh, diving into kind of like what it means to have a uh, EU money license or a money license, you know, it means we're able to yeah. do things in a very compliant manner. You know, we want to do things the right way and work within the laws of the jurisdictions we, we, we currently operate in. Yeah. And in order for us to launch a successful exchange, Okay, right there. In order for us to launch a successful exchange and do what we need to do, we need to make sure we're doing things the in right compliance and in, yeah. in, in the right way. Because you know. if we don't do it in the very beginning, exactly. then what happens is now we've built it, we built the framework around it, and we're going back and we're stopping, halting, or you know, losing users of whatever yep. product that we've launched. And now that's a, that's a problem for our growth. Exactly. So exactly. Do it right the first time. So a lot of other tokens uh, claim that they're required to have one, but you know, you are. In a lot of circumstances, you are. Um, but some other tokens are not. Uh, we, with what we want to do and what we're implementing with Operation Phoenix, with the card, we want to do things the right way, being compliant. So you, you basically know that they were talking about regulations and how there was a clear road to regulations back a few weeks ago. Now you know that that was a comment about the e-money license. And then basically now they're pursuing the e-money license. So it's just a matter of time before they get that. And then they get that exchange out. 
along with the blockchain, which they are claiming themselves to be a blockchain company. So you know the blockchain is going to be released. Here, this just came out on Twitter, and congratulations to SafeMoon. FCF Pay. You can now take care of business and use that to buy things with say, your own SafeMoon. But remember this, you need SafeMoon to go up in value so you can spend your reflections. Because at the low value right now, you're not going to get squat. <laughs> but in the, uh, you know the future is going to be good for SafeMoon. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm not really a pusher of coins, but I've watched Baby Doge. And hearing about what could happen with Baby Doge going on Robin Hood, maybe, and some other stuff. Uh, and the volume. Look at the volume. I mean, this is not squat volume. This is $49 million of volume. So the thing is, I'm just telling you, it's out there. It's green, where a lot of coins aren't. And chances are, where it here looks here. Look at this climb here, okay? The initial climbs. And then the, then the initial down of selling, right? But then the excitement gets back into the coin, and up she goes, and basically selling. But now when you look at that trend, and you look at the volume after this flatlining, yeah, there's a chance that you're going to see this one, especially if it goes on Robinhood, go up in value. That's just my own personal opinion. So this article, Breaking Safe Moon to launch its own FTT called Nutty Knot, and would be bridged to the metaverse. Metaverse is 2022. Uh, going to be pretty big. For It's not going to be huge for the whole world. But I'll tell you one thing. Millions and millions will do the metaverse and enjoy it. And that's pretty damn good. So I just wanted to give you that breaking news of SafeMoon's bit, that payment bit, the exchange gloss over to a degree, because they didn't say the SafeMoon exchange. They just said exchange. But you know now that it's going to be coming, and that's exciting. I want to see that. I want to basically register for that exchange. I want to be able to take care of business on that exchange. And I want to be able to send to my bank like Coinbase. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the off-ramp to your bank. That's a good thing. Let's go SafeMoon. My name is John. I'm the CEO of SafeMoon. SafeMoon is going to the moon. To be only maybe about 60 days old and be absolutely dominating. They already have a $4 billion valuation. It is now available to more and more people. We still are the fastest growing crypto on the planet. SafeMoon is officially the most watched cryptocurrency. And more and more people start knowing what SafeMoon is. They now have 1.9 million holders, number 38 in the world. Let's talk about SafeMoon. For SafeMoon. 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 SafeMoon.